Hello and welcome to the AQA GCSE 8300 series. This is the third paper in the higher tier and we're picking up in question 24. This is a calculator paper by the way. Amina and Ben had a cycle race. Here is Amina's speed time graph from the start of the race. Okay, so this is what Amina's done. And it says the distance of the race was 400 meters. Ben cycled the 400 meters in 64 seconds. Who won the race? You must show your working. Okay, so we need to know really how much 400 meters is. We've got her speed and we've got her time. We want to know her distance. So that is represented by the area underneath the graph. So I think the easiest thing to do is to get the distance that she travelled in the 64 seconds that I think it was Ben took. And if she travelled less than 400 metres in that 64 seconds then she clearly lost the race. If she travelled exactly 400 metres in the 64 seconds then it was a draw. And if she travelled more than 400 metres in that 64 seconds then she will have won the race. So we want the area underneath this curve from 0 to 64 seconds. So the first thing is to split this up into nice manageable shapes. So we've got sort of two triangles and a rectangle. Let's draw a line down here. And a line down here. And that makes a lovely rectangle. And then the next one, so we need to calculate the distance you travelled from 0 to 20 seconds, the distance you travelled from 20 to 50 seconds, and the distance you travelled from 50 to 64 seconds. So one block of five is 10 seconds. So each little block is two, sec is, um, two seconds each. So 64 will be here. And it goes up to where it touches the curve, which is very conveniently at the five second mark. So we have a triangle. We have a triangle here and a rectangle here. Okay, so let's calculate the area under the graph. From naught to 20 seconds, um, she has increased speed from 0 to 8 meters per second so her average speed is 0 plus 8 over 2 times by the 20 seconds so that's 8 over 2 times 20 is 4 over 2 or 80 seconds so that's 8 I'm going to go 8 plus 0 over 2 times 20 equals 4 times 20 equals 80. Now what are our units? That's 8 meters per second plus 0 meters per second divided by 2 times 20 seconds. So meters per second times seconds gives us an answer in meters which is just as well because we want the distance. So between 20 and 50 seconds, she's gone at a steady pace of 8 meters per second. So that's just 8 meters per second times 30 seconds, which is 50 minus 20, which is equal to 8 times 3 is 24, so that's 240. meters. Now we could try and add this area to this area I suppose or we could just say that she's gone from 8 meters per second to 5 meters per second 
over a period of 14 seconds. So we find the average speed between 8 and 5. So that's 8 plus 5 over 2 and that's times by 14 seconds which is equal to 8 plus 5 is 13 so that's 13 over 2 times 14 which is equal to 13 times 7 And here's where I wished I memorised my timetables up to seven, uh, up to thirteen instead of stopping at twelve. But so it is a calculator paper, so thirteen times seven, ninety-one. And now here's where we find out who won the race. If eighty plus two hundred and forty plus ninety-one is bigger than four hundred, then Amina will have won the race. And because we're calculating Amina speed, we're obviously rooting for Amina. 81 plus 240 plus 80. 441 metres. So she travelled 400... Sorry, what did I say? 411 metres in the time it took Ben to travel 400 metres. So Amina won the race. And of course, you would want to write your calculations in here. So the answer is Amina. Congratulations, Amina. Okay, hope that was helpful, and I will see you in the next video.